He said, uh, you know what you're doing with your artwork, bro? He said, I like what you're doing. I said, uh, I said, what do you, what do you mean? He said, you're honoring the ancestors. <laughs> he said, you're going to be rewarded for that. When you talk about us as a people, right, we knew that our history and our culture has some kind of way has been either erased or we can't go back and find it, the true meaning of our history. So as artists, we're rewriting our history. Born and raised in these parts. I just knew that I had a, a idea and concept for design. You know, it was one of them things where I felt like I always had a niche for it but I didn't have an avenue for it. I excelled that track as well, but track is one of them things where when it got to a certain point, I was like, I couldn't do this in college, I'd get tired. But I felt art, I can do that forever. But when I create, it's to create for self, or creating from self, and not always creating what somebody wants. I think Columbus is changing, but it's still pockets of creativity, and I think that some of it we get less exposure to. Networking is primarily important. I wouldn't have met T.I. without the network of my graphic design skills, without the people that I surround myself from because it, it all has a, a connection. Sometimes we create in a, in a private space, but I think we gotta start, we gotta get out of that private space and we gotta start to create together. I'm comfortable in my creative realm because at the end of the day, it's for me to enjoy and for whoever viewing it is to get an experience, whether it's positive or negative, it's your experience.